Hey guys, welcome to the Brixis Digital Summit 2022. Today, I'll be talking to you about how Brixis and Hexagon Smart Build Insight help manage your construction projects better. My name is Darren Pardeen. I'm a senior industry consultant with Hexagon Geosystems focused on the Smart Build portfolio. A little bit about me. I started in the industry as an architect for three years, worked in real estate development, and then worked for a large general contractor in the US, uh, Turner Construction, for about 12 years. I started in VDC and ended up in operations as a superintendent and manager. Uh, on my spare time, I like to hang out with my Rhodesian Ridgeback named Ranger, ride my motorcycle, follow football and rugby, and read books, still the paper-bound books. To speak broadly about where Hexagon serves markets, some of you may not know, uh, the diagram on screen talks to all of our line, lines of business and our various uh, product platforms. As you can see, we range greatly across the, the entire spectrum of the built world from geospatial and transportation to mining and industrial facilities. However, today we will be focused on the buildings and infrastructure part of our portfolio uh, and specifically Smart Build and BrickScad BIM. As you can see from the diagram here, Hexagon Geosystems has solutions that provide outcomes for every phase of project delivery from design to plan to build and operate. We are going to be talking mostly today about BrickScat BIM, how it, how it loads model data, how it creates models, loads detail, loads information, and then provides that as a handoff to Smart Build Insight and project controls where the construction management happens. So it's a very symbiotic relationship between these two platforms. And I, I think you'll enjoy uh, the, the outcomes that I talked to you about. As you can see in the diagram here, we have recent acquisitions of iConstruct, uh, Avir, and Jobix, as well as a few others we will be announcing shortly. So make sure you stay tuned for that. It's not uncommon knowledge that there are uh, inherent gaps within the industry in the development of levels of detail and levels of information of the data set that general contractors work with. It's not uncommon to still receive projects contractually and that's a very important, uh, a very important note to highlight: is the contractuality and the structure of the transaction, of the deal, right between the owner and the general contractor. Commonly, still lives on paper. They may receive a courtesy 3D model from the designers, but seldom is that 3D model, or BIM model, even actually a contractual piece of information. So. What we have between where we want to be at level two and three is a digital divide. This is where Brooks Can BIM, Smart Build Insight, and Smart Build Project Controls helps to bridge that gap. And in the next few slides, I'll show you how we can create and condition the building information model to facilitate work processes downstream. So we're going to build the model in Brooks Can BIM. We're going to load it with information. We're going to bring it into Smart Build Insight. We're going to manage the schedule and manage the cost to keep accurate touch of the real progress and performance of that project. So from conceptual design, creating geometry and adding detail, BrickScat BIM is equipped with several tools. One is called QuickDraw. It's a very sketchy and intuitive way to yet precisely build out the concept of a design early without getting too ahead of yourselves for having to pick specific components, uh, systems, and maybe even assemblies. So it's still a very intuitive way to create uh, an entire building intuitively without needing to specify too many details too early, which can, as we all know, hamper the creative process. Propagate is what I would call a strong right hand to quick draw. Uh, propagate, in its essence, saves time and can quickly enhance model level of detail by being able to recognize patterns that are present in current model conditions. And what I mean by that is, 
if you have a model that has a detail that you know will be repetitive, or not even a detail, a condition that will persist throughout the project, uh, Propagate will push those details throughout the rest of the project according to how you want to structure that Propagate query. As you can see here, we can do Propagate in several different ways. Uh, and you, it, Propagate does not matter level of detail or level of sophistication or development of the model. It can work at your earliest concept phases or in your latest levels of detail. Maybe it's a coordination model for your anti-clash process. Uh, Propagate is a very robust deep learning algorithm that can take the conditions present in the model and push it throughout uh, the rest and the entirety of the model, saving your modeling team's time and really getting that final deliverable ready for your teams in, in, in much, much, much less time. Uh, Bimify is the, let's call it the hat trick of the, the model creation data. So with quick draw and propagate, we've created the appropriate level of detail for the model. Now Bimify is actually the easy button that we've all been looking for. You can, with a single click, take, take model elements that don't have intelligence with them inherently and push uh, model properties, building properties, assembly properties, and create a building from the model. So what Bimify does is it automatically classifies the building elements. It will find slabs, it will find walls, it will find roofs, etc. so that you don't have to do that manually. As you can see, diagrams in the center. Now, before Bimify was a, a long list of 3D solids, and then after Bimify, it's now categorized into an actual building. So you have doors recognized, rooms, slabs, walls, uh, windows, etc., as well as your typical industry standard uh, sections and plans. So how can you look at the building and start to build out your details? Bimify creates all of that uh, in, in a snapshot. It's also important to note that Bimify is not restricted to any stage of model development or level of detail. You could start with a conceptual model and Bimify it and start to establish those references for floors, slabs, walls, or you could be even well into mature design and re-Bimify a project after you've made changes, even at a later stage of development, you can push Bimify through the model to establish the changes that you've currently been updating. Because we all know building information modeling happens in a team environment. As your team and your colleagues are all building into this, uh, this common data set, and in the master file, you re -bimify, it picks up all those changes as your team has been working you know, remotely. It's a very powerful tool. You know, it, its value and expedi expediency cannot be overstated. Now getting into adding more detail to the level of information aspect of creating BIM models, classifications. So whatever BIM doesn't, BIMify does not pick up classifications will pick up. And you can literally by model element to model element classify by uh, typical uh, construction system. Is it a wall? Is it a slab? Is it a column? Uh, or you can create your own, uh, your own classification and organize it accordingly. And you can also pull in, and this is a very important time saver for those of us out there actually building the models, is you can pull in classification systems such as master format, omniclass, or uniformat as a template to start to structure that data as is appropriate for your project. Another is compositions. Very rarely in construction do we deal in absolutes. Uh, concrete wall may just be concrete, but it actually has aggregate and steel, and your interior walls have sheetrock and framing. Everything is layered in the EEC world, right? So everything is a composition. What Compositions is able to do is it quickly leverages the I in building information modeling. You can turn an assembly uh, into model elements and align what a model element is with what its actual assembly will be structured as. What's also beautiful about this is that the composition will, will push through all of the detailed drawings set up in BrickSCAD. And what I mean by that is when a floor slab intersects 
a vertical wall or a ceiling intersects a wall or a footer and footing intersects a slab, uh, the detail that you establish in the compositions can be tuned according to how those compositions are actually built. So where's the insulation? Where's the vapor barrier? Where's the concrete? Where's the wood? You can create those conditions and articulate and, and push those throughout the entire building information model uh, as is appropriate for your project. So it's a tremendous time saver. Another one is properties. So even at the base level, you can create and customize property down to the element level with as many uh, really anecdotal properties and parameters as you would like. Some of these, and this is where smart build starts to come into play, is where uh, assembly code, project phases, and your advanced properties uh, start to be of value for you digitally downstream, uh, such as, yeah, what is the scope of work? Maybe who's the uh, assigned contractor, etc. So this is where you really fine tune that data set and those model elements and align the properties to what you want the final outcome to be. So we've talked a lot about bricks. Yeah, let's pivot quickly to Hexagon Smart Build and talk about, at a high level, um, work processes in construction before Smart Build. And as you can see in the diagram left, there are a lot of uh, disparate silos between the different workflows that actually make a project run. Your budget, sticky notes from the field, schedule tools, printouts, and of course the model are all unified within Smart Build in a single integrated platform. So you have model-based collaboration, you have schedule control, you have cost management, all built into one platform on the cloud that's democratized and easy for your entire team to use. And I'll get into more detail on these specific workflows in the next few slides. So from here, you can see with 4D BIM and Hexagon Smart Build Insight, we are creating 4D mapping that ties the schedule to the model. It's uh, patent pending, uh, singular specific design that we have that reduces rework every time your data sets get updated. So if the schedule changes, that's okay. If the model changes, Again, not a problem. The mapping that we have structures the ties and looks for the metadata, not the model element objects, so that the relationships between the two are persistent. And why is that valuable to you? Well, at the end of the week, that's gonna save your, your VDC guys time and your superintendents or your project managers time reviewing the work that they already know is happening. Uh, and it will eliminate that second and third and fourth touch to get the data right, just to get the visualization right. So in that way, we're really streamlining that workflow. So this is a visual and lean planning process that we've leaned into. We have a uh, digitized production planning and pool planning workflow within Smart Build Insight, as well as a mobile app that really uh, makes the rubber hit the road and empowers your field teams to get those updates in real time. So what you're seeing here is the same schedule structure in Smart Build Insight proper on the cloud, but now it's on mobile. And you're gonna update the progress. As soon as that happens, that pushes right back to the cloud. And then you can update the master project schedule at will. So just think of how many times this would be deployed over the course of a week. Multiple superintendents watching out multiple areas in multiple scopes of work, all feeding into this data and ecosystem where the schedule pushes back to master without manual handling. It's quite intuitive, it's fast, is it will be one of your biggest ROIs when you're implementing a platform like Smart Build Insight. So Smart 5D mapping is the way we bring the, the holy trinity together, if you will. It's how we take the model, the cost, and the schedule and link it together with that patent pending technology so that the data is always linked, even if it changes. And by that, we're parameterizing the building information model, the scheduled structure and metadata, and then the cost breakdown structure. So that at any point in time, you can drop a pin and see where you are with the performance of that project, uh, right insight at the drop of the hat, rather than needing hours and days to produce reports that update the entire team to the project status. Maybe you're ahead or behind or over or under budget, it's all present in real time as that data is loaded into the system. 
And of course, connected information. This is where the tie between Brixis, Brixis got them, Smart Build Insight, and Smart Build Project Controls really finds its uh, its footing. It's about the relationships of the information. And as you can see here, Smart Build Insight has a sophisticated way to uh, build a neural net around the building information model that ties all that metadata together. So we're tying it together to create efficiencies on your job sites and save your, your team's time when they're either creating data or changing the data. So as that model changes or as that schedule changes or as the updates come in from the field, you know in real time the relationship between the model elements, schedule elements, and the cost elements are true and accurate. So you're able to utilize that in many ways. One would just be being able to see the current condition of the, of the project as we're looking at here, which is the cost performance of the project. What's over budget or, over budget or under budget in a simple and easy to use way. So at a glance, at a very high level, that is the Smart Build Insight portfolio, uh, including Risk at BIM and Smart Build Project Controls and of course, Smart Build Insight. Uh, thank you for your time. And please look for other sessions that uh, are centered around construction management and building information modeling. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.